Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. I've got three vehicles. Oh, I should say we're on Wisconsin. I keep forgetting that. I've got three scout vehicles lined up by the garage, which I'll show you in just a minute. I've got, use the mouse here instead of my finger. You can't see my finger. Well, I suppose I could go like this. <laughs> there's, see, there's one over there. There's a tower over there. And then there's a, let's see, get it the right way around. Please use this finger. There's a tower up there from where I am. Um, up here, and there's an upgrade up here. But I know there's a wooden bridge right there. Um, both the cat eye, the 6x6 and the 8x8, are supposed to have a, a four spot gooseneck that you can use with them. Neither one of them are able to have that trailer. It's not in the list for some reason. Maybe because Froggy got banned? I don't know. Kind of pisses me off that it's not there because I wanted to pull... I wanted to do the 8x8 with the four-spot gooseneck and go fix that wooden bridge. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start running around picking up watchtowers. I'm going to head over this way first. Use the radar probably right where I'm sitting. And it, I would imagine that it'll expose the rest of the route to the tower. Hand break release. I've got it hooked up to the Apache right now. Activate radar. I didn't mean to put all that suspension damage stuff in there. There's the north bridge I gotta fix. It's one or two metal beams and two spare parts. I think it's one metal beam, two spare parts. So let's see what it looks Hand like. Engaged. Still didn't go all the way over there, but that's why I drive over there. And I think if you get up here, down by trailer in the river, I think you could probably get across somehow and go up and grab that upgrade. Maybe I'll send the um, 6x6 that way. <laughs> like I can just send it that way. Drive it that way. But um, I don't know if I'll bother with that right now. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna grab, after, I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab this watchtower 
and then keep working myself down to, south down to this one. And then there, I know there's a way you can cross the river over down here and get over to that one and then work your way up to this one. So let's get on it. Been recording for Hi, five please. minutes and haven't left the garage. I I made the 8x8 just basically to check it out. See how it performs. It's I don't know, really pretty much the same as the 6x6. Six six. Engine start. The Apache might be too much for the radar trailer. Now this is the side that I came down the first time I did the Wisconsin map. There was a job there, wasn't there? I haven't really been paying attention to the jobs. That's good to know. There's some logs there. I'll read them and pay more attention to Perfect. them when I can do them. Looks like the tower is the other way up the river. Um, I didn't see that the road went another way. But I see another piece of it right over here. myself off of this log. That's typical for these springy trees. goes right back in the same spot despite that I'm steering the other direction
that tree. If I can avoid getting stuck on that tree, I'll be right there on the road. Let's see, this goes right back. Let's try turning right. These trees that don't work with the mod are a pain in the ass. Oof. That was five minutes, that just wasn't necessary. I think this Apache is so light that with the added horsepower Pad that the mod needed. gives it, it could use some added mass. It would stay on the ground a lot better and probably get over those trees because it'd have the mass to push them down. There's a balance between horsepower and mass. If you put a bunch of horsepower on a vehicle that only has, you know, what is this thing? Three or four thousand mass. It's gonna be wild, and you won't be able to put the horsepower to the ground. Handbrake engaged. Um, I don't think I gave a crap about going up and getting mobile telephony. Um. I just want to keep going south. There's a trail there, but it seems to run out. Well, maybe not. And we can go through there, over to here, then down this one. figure out how to get to the watchtower. Handbrake release.
know it says go that way, but it's just because I missed a watch point that's over here. As soon as I hit that watch point, it'll change direction. This way. And I don't want to fight with that tree. It's not that the Apache is hard to steer, it's just gets these sudden bursts of speed as it shifts. And it'll just send you flying off in one direction like a like a rocket taking off. When the marker doesn't change to give you your direction change until you're right on top of it, you can't be doing 60 miles an hour when you hit the marker. there, I couldn't keep it off the rock without slowing down. Okay, a hundred and thirty some meters. to the um, watchtower. Better turning radius would be nice. I hit a little less throttle response. I should take I should be taking notes on this. <laughs> More mass. Better turning radius. A little less throttle response. Now that would affect how much horsepower it has, just how it drives. All right, where are we going? How about uh, grab a couple upgrades? One's right there in front of me, and the other one's behind. That's why I made a beeline straight down for this corner. I think 
I tried jumping off there before. Didn't work so well. Well. It stayed on its wheels. without the engine. Not giving me attached winch. What's that bullshit? I put the autonomous winch on it. Righted the trailer. But what the fuck? I put the autonomous winch on it when I was in the garage. Should we run the 8x8 for a while? We've been running the 6x6 six six a lot. I think the 6x6 six six is easier to handle because it's shorter. The 8x8 eight eight would be better for pulling a trailer. In fact, you can put a low saddle on the 8x8 which I don't need to do right now what I need to do right now is go get those damn upgrades and from here quickest route is gonna be go to through go through rail production site and up there and across the tracks and over here down through the sawmill and then over there so I'll just make a couple of quick points just marking the direction I want to go so 
a bridge right under that point. I'm not gonna straighten them out. I'm just gonna put a direction that I want to travel. When it comes time to perform these jobs, I'll have to run around and pick them up. Yeah, I need to settle down. I mean, that's not my mod. That's a mod that somebody created. <clears throat> but, obviously it's a little wild. And if you're running just the truck, just the, just the, um, Apache, a little wild is okay. But when you got a trailer behind it, and the trailer is influencing um, balance on your truck. Then a little while not so good. I think I'll hook the 6x6 six six up back up to the radar train after please. I get the upgrade. Engageable diff lock. 
But I got one of these already. I think that was for the boar. This one's for the paystar. <clears throat> My voice is a little rough today. This is halfway through the hour and I'm not a fourth of the way, uh, way through what I wanted to get done. And where's that trailer? It's over there. And where do I want to go? I want to get... I'm going to want to get up and out of this ditch and then run along here. Probably something like this. When I get here, get up here, I can run the radar trailer and it'll help me get over to the next watchtower. For now, I want to go that way, and the radar trailer is sitting over there. I'll jump into the Apache for a minute. Let's hook onto that with a rope. First, I can't without starting the engine. That's bullshit, because I know I put... I know I put... Um, an autonomous winch on it. The mass is so light on this Apache that the trailer is actually a little he heavy for it. I'll just take it over to where the where I can put it on the other truck. Let's um make it so I can see where the other truck is. This bullshit is wasting time. I won't push it backwards, it just drives over it. Just get the tongue of it in a spot where I can get the rope on it. There. Detach. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Handbrake engaged. Engine stop. 
This works without the engine. With no handbrake on, it pulls the trailer up. Until the trailer got in thick mud. That should be sufficient to attach. Too close. Then it rolls back. What a bunch of bullshit. Just a grab a trailer all right please let's head up here and somewhere along the way get up out of the ditch to come to grips with I'm not gonna get as much done as I wanted yeah, this is where I had to drive around the house since I can't go straight through it I suppose up there G scout fine tune well that's cool if the fine tune transmission wasn't so wimpy Oh yeah, I said I was going to get up here a little further, go along this trail, for now at least, <clears throat> and then run the um, radar trailer. Please. This truck handles the trailer, the weight of the trailer, better. I can push it backwards. The Apache doesn't, didn't have any problem. Is it just the marker going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stay on the road. And I'll pick up that marker on the other side of the curve. Apache has the raw horsepower to pull the trailer around. 
but it doesn't have the mass the the, the trailer where weighs more than what is this having a problem oh it's running out of fuel duh I forget that this thing runs out of fuel every 10 or 15 minutes. Add that to my list. my turn where is oh I got the duh I got the um, upgrade I just want to run the please I just want to run the radar my mind isn't in this today. I don't know where my brain is. Can, we can get across here. And then the um, towers up there. This is the place on PTS that I said was a reliable crossing, but it was way down at the end. There's another crossing close to South Bridge, but it's deeper. If you don't have a heavy enough vehicle, the current will carry you away. Well, we found a logging station. Let's keep going and see what else we find. We're still getting closer to the waypoint or watchtower. Well, actually, both, because the waypoint is on the watchtower. I suspect we need to circle around.
I seem to recall having to do this before. Try and start my U-turn before I even get there. All sorts of stuff. Well, this is where I said I was going to check out strangest thing and never got down there. Probably not going to get down there today because I want to get across the river and um, actually I don't need to get across the river. I need to go over to this bridge and then um, up to that watchtower and then over to this upgrade somehow. There's another bridge there that's broken and that's where if I could bring the 8 by 8 up here with its 4 spot trailer I could fix the damn bridge. All it takes is two lumber. But I think there's a way you can go down the hillside and along the bank and then back up. I'm not sure. I didn't try it before because I had just fixed the damn bridge. There is a path that goes down there. It doesn't really... Well, I could turn there. If I don't turn the thing upside down going down the hill, oops, that should work just fine. See how the map jumps every time I click it Cause my I'm moving the mouse when I click might as well grab the wrong turn job while we're there driving right past it I wanted to clear out the rest of Black Badger Lake besides the rest of Greenwood River. But then I decided to try and use the Apache and it just won't handle the trailer. It's funner and hell to drive when you're not pulling the trailer. I think I want to take this swing. Of course, the turning radius kind of lets me down.
this is where the deep crossing is. I was going across it with the crabs, but I was taking engine damage every time. Not so much that it kept me from doing it. That mill is a cool looking place. But they should have the water wheel running. They don't have water running over the water wheel. I suppose because they don't know what the hell a water wheel is. Probably a bunch of 16 year old kids making this game up. <laughs> Never seen a water wheel before or an old fashioned mill. I just drove past Slalom. Yeah, I just keep following this road till it turns left. Put a marker where it turns left. I'll put a marker there. There's a truck at that factory up ahead there. I don't remember which one it is. Don't push your luck with access to location. This is where you get the large, you have to lift the large pipe out of the river with a crane. Keep my momentum up going down that hill so I don't tip. See there where the trailer was tipping? If that was the... Apache, the trailer probably would have drug. Well, that's our Paystar. Trailer probably would have drugged the uh, Apache over. Now we can have the paste star in our garage. Yeah, 
and you get the bar in your in your star. The bar is in your star. Everybody chant that ten times. The bar is in your star. Engaged. And the pay star is in your garage. retain it for now so I can grab it from the other garage. And now... I'm over here. And I want to be up there. There's a bridge right here. And I can go out the back side, go between the rocks, cross the bridge. It's one thing with the with this Wisconsin map. I didn't really care for it at first. Because it didn't look like there were any good roads going anywhere. But then as I played the map, I discovered that there are unmarked trails going every which way. Any place there's a break in the trees or the rocks, there's a trail going through there. Looks like that isn't just when I was saying there's a trail going here. Well, actually, there is. They hide it behind the tree. Bastards. Come on. Don't keep trying to climb the rock. Stay on the dirt. There you go. Back this way. Oops. There we go. See, now the Apache would have just launched right up that, like it wasn't there. But pulling the trailer would make a difference. Actually, if I'd stuck this thing in high gear when I was still on flat ground, it probably would have launched up there like a rocket. Looks like our tower is around the other side of this rock. Yay, wooden bridge is the one I was talking about. <clears throat> now we just got to make our way over to that upgrade. And then we have to finish out <sighs> something we're not going to have time for. Um, Black Badger Lake. And then there's another upgrade over here. I'll probably dump 
the... Well... I'll have to get that next time. Because I'm going to have to backtrack all the way back to the rolled steel factory. Go across here. And then figure out how to do this without the wooden bridge. <clears throat> Where did it go? Um, da -dum 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 -dum. Do 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 do. Person can go down the hill right here. Half dirt, half rock, but it's hidden by the trees. If I turn the map, I think you'd see. Yeah, see? There's a muddy track down the hill past the trees. There's a muddy track to get up the hill by the house, which is where the upgrade is. And God, I wanted, I'd love to get both of them. Might have to let this run a little, little longer. But I need to take a pee. <laughs> Out of fuel again. Oh, for fuck's sake. I gotta fix that. Did I say that out loud? I must have been mistaken. I don't know why I'm feeling that. I was gonna dump it here. I'll have to come back this way. Maybe I'll dump it at the rail yard. Yes, I'll do that. I'll dump it at the rail yard. Because at some point, I'm going to, you know, the next video, I'm going to want to go back up into the first map, Black Badger Lake. Why is it telling me to go over there? Oh, because I haven't popped this upgrade yet. Hydrate, please. This is the one that took forever for me to get up here with the Hellion because I was trying to climb it from the other side. Fine tune gearbox for the third time. Although one of them was for a scout. Now. Let me turn this map around. I need to just go back the way I came. I think I can go down the rock over here, come back up this road, cross the bridge, and end up back at the rolled steel factory for the other upgrade and there's really no reason I can't leave this trailer right up here Hydrate, please.
person could come down that slope, I suppose, but climbing back up it would be a different story. If I don't roll the bitch, I should be able to get the radar trailer on the road that I'm going to use to get back to Black Badger Lake. And I can go this way to get back to the other the other upgrade which seems like a long ways away now. Maybe I can go down around through here and across. I don't know. I'm pointed this way. I have to turn around to do something else. There's the out of nowhere vehicle. I was just thinking, how the hell did I get across that? And then I saw the bridge. Down this way. I think I went through the rocks last time. Doesn't matter, long as I get back to hear. Handbrake, please. Wasting time. Over my hour now. I'm just pushing it a little longer just to get that um, upgrade telling me that I'm going the wrong way. Now it's telling me I'm going the wrong way too. That was me, that was, I was being sloppy about making marks. instead of trying to go around. And that tree is going to fuck me up. There we go. Slide down the hill a little bit. Come right back to the place I should have came down. I 
There's a marker over here that I'm not gonna fuck with. I'm not gonna go back 35 meters just to pick up a marker I missed. I know I have to go this way. Then I have to north, head north toward the broken bridge. I got this. I picked this up when I did it on the PTS. Only I pulled up here and fixed the bridge. And then I went across. It only takes uh, two, two, two units of lumber. And there's a house right back there that has the lumber. You know, I think with nothing on the back, this thing would carry lumber. Rid of all that. Would save me from having to do this trip twice. If I could go right back here and grab that lumber one at a time. Let's make a daytime and head for the hill. It's over here somewhere. It showed a showed a muddy track on the map. I don't see one, but we're here. How we could cross the river here, but I don't want to go through that gate. I want to go through the one where I left the trailer at. Now we gotta dig our way up this hillside. I suspect this is it. 
but I'll double check on the map. Yeah. That's the hill going up to the upgrade. Handling, please. That no, shouldn't be any problem. We don't have rocks rolling around under the tires. In fact, it upshifted the second gear. <laughs> Alright, with this, that is the end of episode 2. Race suspension kit for the board. Oh, that's awesome. That is a good deal. Let's do OK. And then say thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. I'll probably pick up the next one over on the other road where the radar trailer is. I'll get that much out of the way, get hooked up, and then um, we'll make our way back to flooded foothills. I intended to do that all in one episode, but obviously there was just too many little things. An extra five minutes here, an extra five minutes there. Every time I have to put fuel in this thing takes time. Uh, you know, I started off with the Apache and then that didn't really work out. Everything takes time. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.